What's up, y'all? This is really all back with another video. Yes, sir. And today, we're going to talk about some Ben Simmons trade ideas and talk about which teams would make sense for the 76ers to trade Ben in order to make sure they are still a competitor while giving another team a shot at a new superstar in the making for them, possibly. But, but with all that being said, I need y'all to smash that subscribe button. And if you already subscribed to my channel, share it to somebody who ain't subscribed because with y'all, I know I can get there, and when y'all are done with that, I need to hover over to the like button and smash that too, so we can tell the YouTube algorithm to share this video with the world. But with all that being said, let's get with the first trade idea. Now, with my first trade idea, this was a trade idea that I made earlier on my channel, but I revised it and made it a lot more realistic, right? So I got the Philadelphia 76ers trading, Ben Simmons, Danny Green, Tyrese Maxey, and two 2023 future uh, second round picks for Maurice Harkless, Buddy Hill, and De'Aaron Fox. And I think that pissed the Philadelphia 76ers back in the game while giving the Sacramento Kings something to wish for, right? I think Ben Simmons would be a little bit easier to build around than De'Aaron Fox. Because obviously, the Sacramento Kings is not doing a really good job building around De'Aaron. I think De'Aaron, as constructed on the Philly, would be a way better player because he can shoot, he can slash, he can pass the ball. And I think he works greatly with Joel Embiid while giving them a lot of time because De'Aaron Fox is young and he needs a team to prove himself with and I think the Philadelphia 76ers is a team for him while for Ben Simmons the Sacramento Kings give him a fresh start and a new beginning on a team that he can be the first option on now my second trade have y'all the Philadelphia 76ers hitting up the line of the Toronto Raptors right y'all are giving up Ben Simmons two 2023 future second round picks and a 2022 uh, uh, first round pick for the Toronto Raptors, Goran Dragic and Fred Van Vliet. I think that makes sense for y'all because y'all get two dynamic guards who will shoot the ball, who also have experience in the playoff that will not let down Joel Embiid. Yes, y'all might be looking for a little bit more because y'all are giving up Ben Simmons, but I think these two talents are very underrated, especially Goran Dragic, because he does a lot of things for playoff contending teams, as y'all seen what he does in Miami, right? And I know a lot of people won't give him the credit because he's he's not a big name in a lot of people's eyes, but y'all still have Fran Fleet, who, also, who is a more of a household name than Goran Dragic, who has been a competitor, right? He's won a championship. He knows what he got to do. He knows what he got to do for playing with a star like Joel Embiid. And I think he makes sense, right? It makes sense for the Philadelphia 76ers to try this trade. And y'all not giving up nothing too crazy, but y'all giving up something realistic that help, help both sides, right? Because both sides is in a situation where the Sixers want to stay competitive while the Toronto Raptors is in rebuild mode, trying to be, you know, a quick rebuild mode and possibly back in the playoffs. You get what I'm saying? Now for my final trade idea, and this is probably something y'all been waiting to hear. I have the Philadelphia 76ers hitting the Minnesota Timberwolves line and giving up Ben Simmons, Danny Green, and a 2022 first round pick for D'Angelo Russell and Malik Beasley, right? I think Malik Beasley and D'Angelo Russell would be dynamic in Philly. Now, the question is, will D. Loden be healthy, right? But if D. Loden is healthy alongside Malik Beasley, y'all are going to be crazy with those two acquisitions, right? You get what I'm saying? Alongside Joel Embiid and Tobias Harris and Seth Curry. Oh my God, the shooting in the perimeter is gonna be crazy. In the playoff, y'all are gonna have something special, right? Yes, y'all might need another piece or two, but I think the Philadelphia 76ers under Darren Moore is going to be able to figure that out and make sure y'all are a competitor in the Eastern Conference, right? And I think D'Angelo Russell and Malik Beasley is a step in the right direction but in the comments below let me know how y'all feel about any of these trades and tell me which trade do you want to see the philadelphia 76ers do to trade ben simmons that's atlantis with that money